Okay, welcome back. Let's go ahead and start playing some of these new st mean street decks. Um, I was going to start with the Jade Druid because I want to grind the, the Golden Druid. I'm at uh, less than 100 wins for it. About, I think, a little over 90 or 90 wins. But I have a daily for two priest uh, quests. Uh, to win get two priest wins for the daily. So it's going to be a daily grinding one. And we'll definitely do the Jade next. Let's go over this Dragon Priest deck I came up with. Like I said, I don't know if it's the most optimized list but uh it's one i'm going to give a try two shields two whelps historians but times two the warm rest times two bronze bronze beard which is really good for a lot of the battle cry minions in this deck the tap the cabal talent priest death by twos i'm doing the greater healing potion because there's a lot of uh pirate warriors on the ladder two twilight guardians two Azure Drakes, two Corruptors, and then the new Opter of this card is just really awesome. Like I said, I put it in that other deck that's not a Dragon deck. I think it'll be really good. Uh, Bookworm, uh, Dragon Potion potion for Remove, a uh, Dragon. Fire Potion for Removal, two in Tombs. Rathion, I think he'll be really good. He is risky, though. If you have um, a full set of hands, you might not want to play him because he could pull two, three Dragons and you can mill yourself so it is a risk, but uh, I think he's going to be well worth it. And the Ragnos, the Fire Love, for some little bit of power. And we'll see how this goes. We'll play two games, or probably till hopefully we get two wins. It depends. You know, a lot of times these priest games are long, so I like to keep it between 10 to 15 minutes. If you get too long, you start losing your audience. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and queue up and see how this deck performs. Okay, we have a Warlock. Get rid of that, that, that. We need early game. The two drops good. I probably should have mulliganed that, actually, because you want to get whelps, your warm rest, stuff like that. Well, we do got a two drop and a three drop, so that's good. And we do have a dragon in hand. Most likely zoo. Yep, it's zoo. So, um, and tomb's not so great uh, against zoo, obviously. Um, but the healing and then uh, the, my taunt should do a pretty good job in the... Fire, Dragon Fire Potion should really wreck them. You know, Zoo, one thing about Zoo, they don't have a lot of good uh, comeback mechanics. So you clear a couple board clears and they're pretty much done. Alright, so what do we need here? I'm um, thinking about taking the Whelp, believe it or not, because it um, could be kept as an activator. But then this is actually really good. And Nixia is awesome, but the thing is she's a little bit, a little bit uh, slow. So we need to get something a little bit more... That we can play in the next couple turns. I, 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 the Twilight Whelp would have been nice, but uh, I don't know. Okay, that needs to die. Now, one thing I might need to add to this deck is um, Pain because Pain is just so good. All right, so what we're gonna do is we we so we have anything on turn? No, we can't. So we're gonna have to play this. You wish to live Obviously, not the best target for it, but it's better than what it is. I trade it in there because I'll be able to hopefully deal with that uh, next turn. The Darkshire, even though that's probably a misplay, should have gone face. But he's going to proc it anyway, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, having the Dragonfire in hand is going to be excellent. Wow, Gnome, I haven't seen that for a while. It's getting hot in here. We're going to have to coin out the Corruptor to deal with um, the Darkshire. That guy's just going to be too OP. Uh, we might want to, uh, let's see if we have any better option here. Yeah, we got to deal with him. If you leave him on the board too long, it's just going to be uh, too much. Uh... So we got something on board at least. Next turn, uh, we don't really have much. Um, we do have the operative, but he's not going to be that great. He's just going to go face. I think the greater healing potion is going to be really good. And he's just going to go fit. Well, you might trade into that. Yeah, he is. That's smart. All right, so let's see what we could do. We're going to get a big minion on board. I hope we can survive long enough. All right. You know, putting him on there is really good. I think he... Um, uh, let's do it. He's a big minion. Ooh. I really don't want to discard our card, but... 
he would it actually would probably be really it's too risky though if I um if I discard that I could lose the game uh, let's do a taunt and we're just gonna chill the next turn hopefully he floods the board and we'll clear it um, my mini will live live and that's good because I'm gonna have to deal with actually I could I'm gonna fire and just trade into that the way I clear the board because I'm way behind right now and this will be really good and he's really low on cards and I hope I get my potion soon all right so we're gonna do all right so next turn we do got some stuff uh, we got an entomb which is kind of useless at aggro but we do have uh, Twilight Guardian Void Walker, so we, we could pump it up. If we have um, we have enough to actually uh, increase his attack for power, and we're going to do that with Bran. He has Soul Fire, so he probably could deal with him, but we shall see. If um. Bran survives. I'll most likely uh, buff him up. Next turn, we don't really have much. We have the Void Walker, we have the Shield, and we have the Crusher. I might actually just play the Crusher, even though he's my own drag, own drag and activator right now. I hope I get the Bookworm. Uh, pretty sure he has Soul Fire in hand. My shield for Argus. Yeah, against Aggro, um. All right, so we're going to have to trade. See what we can do here. Um, if I get another... Ooh, that's not that great. So what we're going to do is buff him up. Ooh, Rag's not too bad. Trade there. Trade there. We're going to heal up Bran if we can. This might be a little bit greedy, but... Uh, you know what? The more on board, the better. I like to keep the whelps at this point as an activator, but getting a 2-5 is really nice. And I'll just probably keep him in my hand. Alright, so let's see what happens here. We're probably going to obviously kill that. It's one good thing about the Twilight Whelp now. It has a lot of HP. It'll be able to do some good work. And we're going to probably drop Ragnos. He's not, he might not be able to deal with him. We shall see. Um, we still have a lot in my deck. I hope I get a Bookworm really soon. All right, he's going to... Right, we could get rid of the, some of this stuff. This is going to be annoying. If we could get book, Bookworm, it would be a really good tempo swing. Okay, that's actually not too bad. We're going to put that up. We're going to heal, so we really need to... Actually, hold on. Uh, I don't know. Keeping Bran alive is kind of stupid. I'd rather gain tempo. Because next turn we have um, Rag. So it's going to be hard for him to get through all this, I think. Uh, healing Bran would have been a decent move. But the problem is, I think that'd be a little bit greedy. Oh, well. Alright, so... Let's see, we could actually entomb him. That wouldn't be a bad uh, thing, because with a with the zoo, you're not going to get a lot of value of uh, entomb against aggro. It's just, they don't really have anything great. He does have the Doom Guard, though, I suppose. Interestingly, so he's going to go all out to take the... All right, okay. Well, we're gonna... We're going to see what we... Ooh. He's out of... That would be a good move except for... Yeah, because you see, effectively, I can't really trade into this, right? I'm going to lose Bran, but... Uh, oh, man, it's just not... Enough. You know what we could do, though? Let's see here. So I could do that. I could heal, trade into there. It's not that good. Hmm. Rag, heal, and trade the two minions. It's not favorable, but I don't want to use a dragon fire for just a small minion. I mean, I could technically uh, use Entomb, heal Bran, and kill this guy. That might be a decent move. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to save Rag for now. 
reason is because Brian could still give me a lot of a lot of good stuff. I don't develop a board, but he doesn't have anything now. Like I said, Entomb's not going to be that great, and I got two deaths in my hand for anything big. I don't want to use a dragon fire just for two minions like that. And this way, Brand's still on the board. Alright, so he's not too threatening. We're going to get rid of that. Rag's going to most likely take him out. Oh, ooh. And I don't have a dragon. Otherwise, I would play the bookworm. Alright, perfect. Good Rag. And he has nothing on board, so it's going to be kind of hard for him to deal with Ragnos. He could do... Uh, I don't think he has any power overwhelming left. So he can't do his minion charge. Extraordinary. Happy Feast of Wintervale. Yeah, yeah, he's just done. Alright, so... Uh, no, we're going to keep that. We're not going to play anything else. There's no reason to uh, rub it in because there is just no way he can make a comeback now. Card draw is an... Oh, he's just going to be... I'm going to death that, of course. Oh, he killed himself. All right. All right, good first game. Let's go see if we could uh, queue up for another one, guys. Okay, we have a Paladin. Like I said, we need early drops. Once in a while, depends on what I have in my hand, I'll keep a Dragon. Uh, keeping a 3-drop would be kind of nice, but we need, like I said, the Whelps. Your Warm Rest. All the early game. Okay, we got him back. Okay, we got the Warm Rest. That's good. Now we just need a Dragon. Most likely, this is a uh, new Goon Paladin, so they're going to be kind of tough. They tend to run out of steam, though, like any aggro. Um, it's going to be really tough. Uh, against, against. I don't know if we're going to be able to win because uh, oh, we're not going to play that. Damn it. We're going to have to probably play that for tempo. See, I swear, I don't understand why you have, this game never gives you your tools. Such low cost. It has one drops, two drops, three drops, and I don't get any of it. And it makes a huge difference. Wow. I need a... Yeah, I think paint. I'm going to need pain in this game. We're going to have to play that on tempo. Alright, so I'm not sure what kind of... Oh, sorry about that. I let my little dog in. He was barking at the door. I don't know what kind of deck this guy's running. Uh, well, yeah, he's way ahead. So there's, there's, I'm just too far away. I had to kill it, unfortunately. Um, that's going to be so hard to deal with. Alright, one more. I still don't have an activator. Uh, we're going to have to buff this up. Oh, there we go. He's going to be good soon. We're going to do this. And we're going to buff him up. He's going to get card draw, unfortunately, but there's not much I can do. Let's see if we can make a comeback. We do have a dragon activator now. Uh, we could deal with that 3-5, so it'll be pretty sweet. One thing about this deck, I think it kind of lacks card draw. That's one reason Brand's in there, obviously. Uh, Alright, so we're going to trade and get rid of this. Oh, we can't trade 100%, but... Enough. Uh, this is probably going to be good. Um, this one will be good next turn to get rid of her. Oh, we don't have a dragon. That's why Rathion is going to be really nice, because he's just going to be uh, such a great... Um, wow. Oh, that's going to be good. We do have this. What does this say at the end of your turn? Yeah, he's a must kill. He's, there's no, no way around it. So we got the board stabilized, kind of, but we're still way behind, and he has so many buff minions. Look at that. Accidents. Yeah, he's this is kind of like the Jade Golem, but just faster, right? Uh, he's gonna obviously die to that if I get it activated. No, actually, him. Uh, so it can be interesting. Uh, we'll end it after this game, no matter what, win or loss. Ooh, you know what? Too bad I do not have. What we're going to do that we could technically. Um, 
use the bookworm, but I think this is the most effective way because the reason being is it just clears this whole entire board. Yes, I lose my minion, but I gain a lot of tempo, kind of. Drake's good. He's going to be good. This will be good even though I haven't taken any face damage. I just hope this guy runs out of steam. Yeah, you see this is... Wow, look at that. Look at this. Uh, how can someone beat this crap? If you fall behind, it's just... Okay, that's actually pretty good. The only thing is he's going to die, so maybe we should... Get rid of that. Put this. Yeah, it's just going to slow him down a little bit. But luckily, there's only three attacks. So he's going to have to attack two of them. Even though he's going to have a weapon. Um, next turn, I'm most likely going to drop him. Alright, so that's actually good. Tyrion's bad because I do not have him tomb. Unless it comes out now. Ooh, no, but so we're going to have to death that. So he does get a lot of momentum, but that's okay. We put this down. Wow. Nice. So, yeah, I think this guy's really good. Now, he's kind of a little bit low, but luckily he's going to be able to clear him with just a whip weapon swing. Next turn, I'll be able to do Bran and get some stuff. Unfortunately, Tyrion's gone. And if I could get my... Um, oh, he's just going face, huh? Oh, okay, maybe not. If I can get my... Um, yeah, what an idiot. That's where this is going to come in really worry, handy. Also, oh, he is an aggro deck. Kind of, yeah, kind of a trap. But he's getting out of steam, so survival is the best. All right, so we're going to do here. Who knows what secrets will uncover? Let's see here. We are, we're going to we're going to take a lot of damage, but uh ooh, actually that's kind of nice. Oh, okay, I'll take him. Um I'll take that as well. We obviously have to kill that. Uh, let's see, this would be kind of nice, but we're not going to worry too much about health right now, even though I'm probably pretty bad situation. Ooh, he's just too good. And, uh, he is just too good. Alright, so, the, he, I might be dead if he has enough burst, but uh, the potion will be, oh yeah, he has enough burst. Oh, uh, does he or what? Or he thinks he does. I wonder why he, what possibly he could do to do that much damage. Well, he's not gonna like this. Oh. Wow, what a fucking piece of shit. Piece of shit, bad manner, asshole. But he did say, uh, well played. But anyways, we'll end it there. That deck, as you can see, it just steamrolls. If I had my other dragon potion, I probably would have been okay. Unfortunately, Rathion didn't pull it. I didn't have any taunts. I never got my drakes, uh, my twilight drakes. So that, that's unfortunate. Anyways, win some, lose some, but let's go ahead and end it there, and then I will have more Dragon Priest stuff in the near future. I think maybe that was really greedy. I think I should have been a lot more conservative. I was really greedy trying to get brand value, and as a matter of fact, I think if I would have played the Greater Healing, I could have potentially won the game. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Anyways, take care, guys. Bye.